Hello all my Cancer friends and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I'm bringing you your Twin Flame Journey uh, reading for January 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, whether you are the Divine Feminine um, or the Divine Masculine, either or. Um, just watch for your sign and your Divine Counterpart sign and put the two readings together. Because you will be the opposite um, of whatever counterpart you're watching. So if your Divine Masculine is a Cancer and you're a Scorpio, then you would watch both of them and join the two um, readings together to get an overall outlook for January. I'm going to pull five cards for the Divine Feminine and five for the Divine Masculine. Um, one card for each week and the fifth card will be the marrying energy of the month. Um, I will pull one card for from the Romance Angels to see where in our journey we are. So I will do that first. Okay. Spirit and Angels, what card do you have for the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the Twin Flame journey? January 2018. What is one card that will... Give us insight to where in their oops, their journey they are. One card, please. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Divine counterparts that are in the Twin Flame journey. Okay. Engagement. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Awesome, Cancer. That is awesome. Okay, can I get five cards for the Divine Feminine, please? Five cards, one card for each week, and the fifth card being the marrying energy of all four weeks. Where is the Divine Feminine in the... Oops. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck. Um, since there are backs to them, I do not take them if they fall on the ground. Ooh. Okay. So, Temperance wanted to come out. Okay. For those of you who are new to my channel, I um, channel messages direct from my spirit guides and my angels. So um, I'm not really too um, picky about where my cards go and what direction they're in because spirit tells me when and where to put them. So this is to be turned over as well as this one and this one. Okay. And I will draw two cards from the um, Wisdom of Hidden Realm deck by Colette Barrett-Reed. One card for the Divine Feminine, one card for the Divine Masculine, please, Spirit. Okay. So the Divine Feminine has the River Queen in reverse. And the Divine Masculine has the Camel Boy in reverse. And we will get to those at the end of the reading. Um, I'm going to clarify with the Gilded, I think. Okay, so in the first week of January, um, the Divine Feminine has Temperance. So you have found a new sense of balance. You have worked hard. You have done everything it has taken to get you to this point. And you are feeling like you are finally standing on solid ground. You feel like you are emotionally healthy, um, mentally healthy. Like you just, you have found a sense of balance within yourself that you didn't know was possible. The divine masculine has the eight of coin 
And so he's still working hard. He's working hard on himself as well. He's working hard on um, getting a sense of stability and um, getting things prepared for his divine feminine. Um, I can already tell you that this reading is probably um, just by the messages I'm getting already from spirit. You guys are the closest to union that any reading I've done so far. And I've done, you guys are my seventh one. So a little over half. Um, <clears throat> the Divine Feminine in the second week of January is the star in reverse. Um, so your wishes are coming true. There's just a little bit of delay. And um, your delay is waiting on that page of pentacles to bring you in an offer of stability, but it is coming. The divine masculine, he is working hard. Um, and you divine feminine, you have such a beautiful spread here. It's just amazing. You have the ace of swords in your third week. Ooh, that kind of has a horrible player, doesn't it? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> the um, ace of swords. So you have a whole new sense of understanding of the connection. You have, um, in your healing process, you have found a way to make have everything make sense. You have a clear vision of the future, and that is allowing um, cycles to complete, circles to um, go complete, um, so I'm getting messages in. You have really worked hard to make everything in your life come full circle so you can clear it out and be completely ready for your divine masculine. And in that process, you are healing him as well. And that is just amazing. In the fourth week for the divine masculine, he has been to battle and he is back. Um, he is victorious, but as you see in the card, nobody has gone unscathed. They're all beat up and um, bloody, and but they're still there. They're still victorious. They still made it back. So this has been a rough patch for you guys, um, but you have made it. You are, that is so amazing that it came in at the same time as the world for the divine feminine. The overall energy for the month for the divine feminine is the queen of cups. You have, you are just emotionally satisfied, emotionally filled in every aspect of your life right now. You are sitting on your throne and you hold the cup that everybody wants. And not only do you hold it, but it is overflowing. Um, the divine masculine, he has just came back from battle <laughs> and he is taking the time to step away from everything, everyone and recover, recoup. Um, he is, he is allowing everything that he has kept from healing in the past to heal. He is. This is his last step that he needed to take before he can fully commit to this union. Can I get a clarifying card for temperance, please, for the Divine Feminine? Yeah, I can tell you guys' reading isn't going to be very long because you guys are there. You are so close. Um, so very close. And then with your um, angel card being engagement... It is not going to be long. The three of wands is clarifying the temperance card. So you, you're you just waiting for, for your um, divine masculine. You are ready. You, you have such a beautiful energy around you right now. Um, divine feminine that it is awesome. The king of swords is... Um, what is standing in the way of the star right now, the wish coming true. 
So um, even though the Divine Masculine is working so very hard and you have gained your balance, there is still something that you're not aware of. And um, oh, all these flipped. There is something that you're not aware of, but it is going to, oh, how perfect is that? Came out just right. Um, there is something that is going to be brought to your attention, but you're so over it. You have healed from that already. And it's just from outside source. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's from somebody outside of the of the connection anyways. That's just trying to put a, a hurdle in your guys' race. Because they don't want the connection to happen. The um, Eight of Pentacles is being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune for the Divine Masculine. And... The wheel is going to be turning and good things are going to come to you. The, all the hard work that you both have put in is going to bring in such a beautiful karmic um, gift for you when that wheel turns that, that it's not going to be able to shake either one of you. Like it's going to be for the, for the good. The um, page of pentacles is being clarified by the nine of swords. So, um, in the second week of January, the divine masculine may, um, get caught up in his head, but he's going to come out of that right away. Um, divine masculine, you're going to come across some information as you see the owl in this picture. Um, you are going to stumble across some wisdom that is going to be given to you, whether it comes to you with an intuition or in your dreams, you are, at night, something's going to come to you and it's all going to become clear and, and it's going to allow those thoughts to, to, um, get out of your head right away. The, the, um, ace of swords is being clarified by the four of wands. So divine feminine, you are seeing a whole new truth about this connection. You know what this connection is. Even if you guys are not in union yet, you are 100% clear about what this connection is between the two of you. And that's why you're not worried. Um, the Seven of Cups is being clarified by the Knight of Swords. So you're going to come out of confusion, Divine Feminine, because someone is also going to come in and um, give you some information that is also connected to the Nine of Swords that is going to clear that confusion right up. You're going to see everything for what it is, and it's going to happen very fast in the month of January. Um, all those doubts that you guys have had in your head are suddenly going to become crystal clear, and you'll realize there was no reason to have any doubt. Um, the world for you is um, here, Divine Feminine. It's being clarified by the Knight of Wands, so that's just allowing... Um, Allowing old things to go by the wayside. Things that you used to have passion for, people, karmic cords, all of that. Um, and it's going to happen quick. That's what I'm hearing. That it's going to be like today was here, tomorrow it's gone. I mean, it's going to happen fast. The King of Cups is clarifying the Six of Wands, which is amazing because you know what you're fighting for, Divine Masculine. And you're fighting for that cup and you are going to give it to your divine feminine. And you do in the next week. So um, there was no question in your mind what you were fighting for at this point. Um, all these doubts and fears that were in your head at the beginning of the month, they are gone. And now you are realizing. The Queen of Cups is here being clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. So um, you are now throwing out traditional thoughts and um, around like marriage, relationships, how things are supposed to work because you have this cup and it's full and this is the most untraditional relationship you have ever experienced in your whole life and ever will again. So you're allowing your, um, your old uh, religious views, thought patterns around marriage and relationships, you're allowing them to go out the window and that's why that's in reverse because your cup's overflowing and... This is just 
the most unconventional, untraditional relationship. And the overall energy for the Divine Masculine is the Four of Swords being clarified by the Lovers. And this is the Twin Flame card, the Soulmate card. Um, there is no question in his mind. By the time he's done and out of this recovery phase, this timeout, he is going to pursue you. He is going to offer you a committed relationship, if not an engagement, by the end of January. Spirit and angels, is there any other messages that you want the Cancer, Divine Masculine, or Feminine to know in January 2018 about their twin flame journey? You have here also the Queen of Swords. So um, Divine Feminine, you are um, ready to cut out anybody in your life that does not support you in your Divine Masculine. You are not messing around. Um, if they don't support you, then get out of the way because you're going to make them get out of the way. You are here to defend your guys' relationship and you're not listening to anybody else anymore. You've done that for far too long. Anything else, Spirit and Angels, that you have for the Divine Masculine or Feminine Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Okay. You have the Four of Pentacles, and that is on the reverse side. So you are no longer Divine Masculine um, holding back. You are now allowing your emotions to flow free, and you're not being so stingy with your time. You're not holding on to fears. You're not um, kind of holding on for dear life for your last little bit of um, pinnacle. Like you are going to now offer everything to your divine feminine. You're no longer holding on to those. The nine of swords is coming in in the reverse or the backside. So, um, you realize now that all those worries, all that anxiety over this connection was, was not necessary. And you are going to come in and offer your cup. You're going to offer your divine feminine a new beginning, a fresh start, a clean slate, a happily ever after. And she is going to be there and ready to accept any clarifying cards for the last Messages that came out, Spirit. Do we need any clarifying cards? Well, not half the deck, that's for sure. Okay, any clarifying cards, Spirit? Okay, I don't think so. I think that is your message, Cancer. Um, straightforward to the point, and hallelujah, right? Well, that did fall out at the end. The Fool. New beginnings, fresh starts. Um... Yeah, this is by far the most clear-cut, um, close, closest to union um, I have seen yet. This is not going to be for all of you um, cancer uh, people who are in the twin flame journey. Um, this is for a certain group of you. But for that group of you, congratulations. You guys are coming into union by the end of January. Um, you have put in the hard work. You have done what you have to do and commitments are coming engagements are coming i am going to read out of um the book for these last messages the divine feminine you have the river queen in reverse so when the river queen comes as a challenger it says you have gone through turbulent waters and rapids and there may be a couple yet ahead of you. You have no boat to navigate now. It's just you in the water going where it takes you. That being said, although the River Queen is your challenger, she has no intention of letting you go under. Even when there is a waterfall ahead, there's no reason to fear. You have put in all the hard work that you have needed to do. The River Queen will help you over it so you can splash down again in the gentle waters of the river below flowing with a renewed purpose to the sea be fearless now and go with the current of events this can be an adventure and one of the most amazing times of your life so just go with the flow and allow your blessings to come to you now that is amazing 
Um, the Divine Masculine has the Camel Boy in reverse. So he comes as a challenger. When the Camel Boy challenges you, he is asking you to stop the course of action you're on and to take a look around. Nothing can happen right now to move you forward any more quickly. It is now time to attend to your home and get things ready. Spring cleaning is in order. You may also need to spring clean your thoughts in the beginning of the month. Meditation will help you. With that being said, if you do all the small things now, the big things will be accomplished as if by magic, as if you didn't even have to try. And always, when you stop trying to do it all at once by yourself, things will magically get done for you. Another message is to stop attempting to accomplish everything single-handedly, expecting no one to help you. Try letting them. Now is the time to relinquish control if you need to ask for help. And Spirit is saying this is within your meditations. At the beginning of January, you're going to be in your head. By the end of January, it's going to be like magic. They're all going to be gone. And you are going to see so clearly. So um, Spirit is just asking you to take the time to meditate um, and allow those thoughts to come out of your head. Allow help if you need it. Because by the end of the month, you are going to be in... An amazing new mindset, amazing new position, and spirit is going to help you. They are going to help you as if by magic, as if like it's here one, it's gone one day and it's here the next. So that is so amazing, Cancer. I'm so excited for you guys. I can honestly say that you guys are the closest to union that I have um, read for yet as a collective. So spirit is just asking you and encouraging you to um, keep up the hard work, to keep up um, the meditation, the self-healing. You guys are there. Um, I am so excited for you guys. So make sure you um, are keeping up on your gratitude list and be thanking the universe for every blessing that you have um, and those positive affirmations. And for this group of you that I have channeled and read for today, um, how exciting. Of course, this is not going to be for all of you. Um, we all are um, at different points of the journey. So just remember to um, enjoy every step of the path that you're taking because it is, if you take the time to look around, it's beautiful. Um, don't be so quick to rush into union because everything is happening in divine timing and um, all your hard work's about to pay off. So I'm so happy for you, Cancer. And as always, I'm sending you love and light. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful January 2018. And um, with that being said, I'm going to let you go. I hope to see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless. And I will see you next time.